And we start tonight with the Channel 11 News exclusive. Doctors now believe a reaction to Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine temporarily paralyzed a Bethel Park mom. Good evening, I'm David Johnson. And I'm Lisa Sylvester. Just 12 hours after getting the first dose, she woke up with no feeling from the neck down and relied on her young daughter to call for help. All they know is that prior to my vaccine, I was healthy, I was whole. And then after my vaccine, I had complete paralysis of my body. I've regained the upper body strength and I'm working towards both toes moving on left and right. That woman is sharing her story only with Channel 11's Jillian Hartman. And she is live tonight with this major update. Jillian. Well, the woman tells me her doctors here at the Allegheny General Hospital ran several tests. Now her doctors at the Cleveland Clinic did the same thing and found nothing wrong with her. Now she says those doctors at the Cleveland Clinic told her the cause of her paralysis points to the Pfizer vaccine. The Cleveland Clinic doctor believes um, that the nervous system um, had a reaction to the shot, which caused stress on my nervous system and caused the paralysis that lasted from um, my neck down. Rachel Sasir from Bethel Park spoke exclusively with me today from her hospital bed at the Cleveland Clinic. She said after more extensive tests, doctors confirmed she's a healthy 33 year old woman with no underlying health issues. Um, so they were able to rule out any inflammation of the spine and therefore they ruled out that this is not a Gillian Barr syndrome um, that some people do get as a reaction to vaccines, um, flu vaccine, for example. Sasir said she got the first shot of the Pfizer vaccine last week at the Rite Aid in Cassie Village, but 12 hours later, almost her entire body was paralyzed. These are photos of Sasir and her three-year-old daughter, Bristle, before she got the shot. In the last few days, she's made a lot of progress. She's been able to regain almost all strength and feeling in her upper body. Today was the first day she's been able to sit up. Oh, it's an amazing feeling. It makes me so hopeful um, that I'm going to be whole again. However, she's still numb from the hips down. At last check, she's been able to wiggle her toes, stand behind a walker for about 30 seconds, and had some resistance in both legs. I spoke to Pfizer earlier this week, but reached out again to ask if they had more to add with this new information. Pfizer got back to me within an hour saying we have nothing further to add. At this time, our ongoing review has not identified any safety signals with paralysis in the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. The woman tells me her case was reported to Pfizer, but Pfizer has not contacted her yet. I did ask a local infectious disease doctor about Cecir's case and what it would take to scientifically prove the vaccine caused her paralysis. It's hard to say whether it's a vaccine or not the vaccine um, without there being more, first of all, more information and to more people with the same kind of thing. Um, it is a very good sign that she's had recovery this quickly. Now, it sounds like this woman will make a full recovery, which is good news. Now, I did reach out to Rite Aid, but they said they cannot comment because of HIPAA. Reporting live tonight, I'm Jillian Hartman, Channel 11 News.